Tech Fed Tech. In this video, I'm answering a question I get asked all the time. Matthew, is there any software that is free that turns my time-lapse photos into time-lapse video files? The answer is yes. This video talks about three separate softwares that both work on Mac and on PC, and I'll talk about the pros and the cons. That's the thing, free stuff always comes at a cost. So, let's have a look. Hello, my name is Vitamin Vitamin Tonal Tonal Tutorials. That was a really quick one. The first software, actually before the first software, this video is sponsored by, once again, not really anyone. Maybe it's sponsored by you. More about that later. The first software that I'm talking about is TLDF Lite. It is the Lite version of the software called Time Lapse D Flickr. The pros are it allows you to edit unlimited images, it allows you to edit raw files with a built-in color grader, it has a deflickering algorithm, a denoising algorithm, and it allows you to create so-called time blend photos just like in StarStacks. It can also save photos while it's making the video file, so creating a sort of new content while you're generating your render. There's also image masking and it allows you to export as Apple ProRes and HEVC codecs. New features are getting added constantly and it comes at a very good price point for the paid version of only around $35. What are the cons? Well, the free version is limited to 720 pixels, which is not a lot, but it might be enough if all you intend to do is create GIFs and share them on Twitter and on Reddit, for example. Then, number two, you've all heard of it. Many of us use it already. I have made heaps of content about it and it's just been updated to version 5.6. LR Timelapse, aka Level and Ramp Timelapse. By the way, if you remember what it used to be called, drop that in the comments down below. LR Timelapse is a paid software, but it has a free trial version as well. The free trial version allows you to edit up to 400 images in one sequence, but it limits the output resolution as well. That being said, it is custom built time lapse software and it is just absolutely fantastic for deflickering and for holy grail time lapse editing. The negative, as I said, it's limited to 400 shots, but that's still plenty and maybe the price point is a bit expensive, but you gotta keep in mind, this is custom built software and there is a reason that literally every single pro uses it. I do giveaways every now and then on Fridays on my live stream and I will also be giving another time lapse uh, license away very soon. So make sure to turn on notifications if you don't want to miss that. Quick promo before we go to number three. Twice a year, I partner with a company called Five Day Deal. They bundle up incredibly valuable and incredibly high quality educational content for photographers and videographers. Currently, the video creator bundle is live. My products are in there. My new time-lapse preset and LUT pack, as well as the ultimate time-lapse guide is in this bundle. If you buy both of them from me separately, you'd be paying $98. If you buy this bundle, which is valued in total at over $2,000, you only pay $89. By far the biggest deal of the year for video creators. Check it out, the link's down below. You actually help me a lot by just clicking on that link. It's part of how I survive and how I make my money using these kinds of affiliate deals. And I can just, I cannot recommend it enough. The team behind Five Day Deal is amazing. The products in the Five Day Deal bundle are amazing. And I'm just super excited to be part of it. Once again, there's only about 48 hours left, I think, for this deal. So make sure to check it out before you miss out. You can probably tell how sweaty I am. It is boiling hot in London today and I have no airflow in this room. Anyways, on to the third software, which everyone's... You all right? Yeah. <laughs> just heard a big crash. Everyone's using it these days, DaVinci Resolve 17. DaVinci Resolve is an incredibly powerful video editor, an NLE, a non-linear editing software, and there is a free version which allows you to turn time-lapse photos into video files with an unlimited amount of resolutions and codecs and things you can do with it. However, before you can turn a RAW file into a video file, you have to turn that RAW file into a DNG file, which you then load into the timeline and then you export it to your ProRes file or whatever codec you use. It's not the best way to go around it, but it is free software, which gives you so many opportunities and so many options to edit footage. I actually know quite a few people that use it for everything now, for effects, for sound editing, for color grading, for video editing, etc. If you haven't heard of DaVinci Resolve, I am going to be making some content about it soon. They've actually sent me their full studio version, so expect some of that coming to the channel in the next couple of weeks or months. And look, that's the three softwares I have for you today. I intend to make a new video about this with paid software. Free software only gets you so far. Free stuff comes at a price. It has a cost to it, and that's usually 
you're limited in one way or another. If you want to find out more about my workflow or how I work, watch my previous video about how I made London Storm, or you can check out my ultimate time-lapse guide or any of my other content. It's all linked down below. If you have any video suggestions or questions about time-lapse or anything really, just drop it in the comments down below. If you like this video, you found it valuable, please consider subscribing so I can buy an air conditioning device for this room. And that's pretty much it. I'm bad at endings. I'm a Belgian waffle. Thanks for watching. By the way, check out this t-shirt. More on that soon, maybe. Thanks for tuning in and hopefully I'll see you on the next video. Bye.